everyone and welcome to my channel it's mother meek aka tamika and this video today is basically just about some of the recent products that i've purchased for the month of february and in honor of the month of february they are all black owned so i'm just going to give you guys a review um it'll be some product try-ons and i'll give you the details on where i purchased my products so the first thing I'm gonna get into is this hair. And excuse the bumps, um, I haven't had a chance to flat iron it, but I actually just recently got this hair installed yesterday. Um, it was purchased from Lovely Hair, which you can actually find her on Instagram. Shout out to Michelle, girl. Thank you, I'm loving my install. Um, but along with this hair, it's a 14 inch closure. And then I got 16, 18, 20. So this is my first closure and my first sew-in in like literally six plus years or so. So I'm excited. Um, Might have bit off a little more than I can chew, but she's here to stay. And I'm probably going to be doing sew-ins from our, uh, more often. So um, yeah, the fro's put up for a while. I'm not even thinking about her right now. But along with the hair, I also purchased some lashes from Lovely Hair as well. So I'm going to show you the first pair that I got. If you can see the packaging is really cute. Let me zoom in for you. Sorry about the glare. These here are called Lola and she actually puts the name on the back so you know which ones. Um, cute little casing and you can slide them out to the side like so. And this is Lola. They're also mink lashes. You can find these on her website. I think I paid um, $16 for these, if I'm not mistaken, give or take. Yes, I think, it was, I think it was 16. These are Lola. So the other pair that I got is called Grace in the same packaging. And these are super, super cute as well same type of um, slide in oh wait okay there we go mink lashes name on the back grace and then being that I purchased I actually got a complimentary pair and these are super super cute case is super super cute as well you can slide them out these babies here are called Lily so yes, again, lovely hair. You can find her, her on Instagram. So make sure you ladies go shop with my girl, Michelle. Can't wait to put these on. Okay, so moving on. So we have some lippies, which anybody that knows me knows that I'm like probably obsessed a little bit, but a friend of mine put me on the lip bar and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about lip bar as well. Um, you can find them, find her in Target. Which I'm trying to make sure I'm not showing it upside down. Um, I actually went to the website and purchased mine because if you know where the Target in my area is located, it's like, what's your is popping. So I purchased them um, $13 a piece, if I'm not mistaken. Cute little packaging. Um, I can tell you the colors that I got. This is a very pretty nude, which I can try these on for you if you like. We can swatch. Very pretty nude. This is called Man Eater. Very, very pretty color, which I can go ahead and swatch it for you. So, Man Eater. It's like a mauve nude with kind of a peachy undertone if you can see that very pretty color it looks great on which later on I'm gonna do a video of some lip swatches of like my favorite colors I'm just not gonna do that today because just not going to okay so the next one is a very vibrant orange color called boy trouble you know boy trouble it looks red on the outside, but it's actually orange. So I'm going to swap this for you. This is like a really nice red. I mean, orange, excuse me. I don't know what I'm going to do with her, but yeah. Well, so I guess you can say maybe still like a fiery reddish orange, perhaps not so much just orange, orange, but she's really cute on. 
And then this is the last one, Boss Lady, which is red as well. But it's like a red, red. This is so pretty. Like, she is just, she's amazing. So, I'm gonna swatch her. Like, get into this red, y'all. Like, for real, for real. Look how pretty that is. And again, these are extremely inexpensive. Um, I just believe in supporting my own. I mean, not stating that other, because I mean, I do have other brands that aren't black owned, but as of lately, like I've just really felt in the need to like give my sisters and my brothers too, but especially my sisters, um, my support and my money. I feel like if we're gonna spend the coin, why not give it to our own, our friends, you know, um, aspiring companies that are trying to get themselves out there like why not I mean we spend the money anyway so I rather support so moving on I actually this is my first time purchasing anything from Supercent but anybody that knows Supercent she's dope I mean her come up story is amazing um, so I said why not get the map book not the math book but the map book so this is the cute packaging that it came in and this is the sleeve so you slide this off and it's like a book y'all like literally like a math book but instead of the math book it's the math book so let's do that so let's get into these colors now these colors they're colors now they're bright i don't know what the hell i'm gonna do with this or where i'm going but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it looks about like, I think it's, let's see. About 25 colors. So you got your, your purples, your yellows. I'm covering up my face, being all awkward. But yes, so again, super scent. Follow her on IG. Um, this is the Crayon Case brand. I'm not sure if I said that first or not. She has other products, um, cute eyeliners, other, there is another palette that has some shimmers and stuff, but I'm more into matte. So this is the matte book. So that is that. So moving on, so if I can get this in the sleeve, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, moving on. So anybody that knows me knows that I love Fenty, yes, Robin Fenty, Rihanna girl, you continuously get my coin, and I'm gonna spend it because I love it. So the first things first I'm gonna go over is the Kilowatt, Kilowatt, just kidding, highlighter. So I have probably all except for maybe four of the highlighters. I just love a good highlighter, like a highlighter, you can see me from a mile away, I'm here to blind you, shiny your face. Like, give me a good highlighter, y'all. And sorry, I sound nosily and I'm sniffing. This weather is kind of screwing my allergies. But anyway, so I picked up, well, let me show you the packaging. This is the packaging. And this particular one is called Kilo. No, sorry. What a brat. What a brat is the name of this. I don't know if you can see that. It's the pink highlighter. And I'm not really a pink girl, but this one was just kind of hard to like let up. I just kind of envisioned the look with her and I was like, she's gotta come home with me. So this is what she looks like. Look at that. It's kind of similar to, um, I don't know why I keep covering my mouth. Trophy girl or trophy wife. Yeah, sorry. But just in a pink version. And I can swatch her so you can see. Like, look at her. To be pink, like she is really, she's popping. And she has the like glitter flakes, just like Trophy Wife, but these are more so gold, I mean silver than gold, but it's really pretty, so. Don't know what I'm going to do with her, but there's a look out there for her. <clears throat> All right. So along with that, 
I got the Pro Filler Concealer. And this <clears throat> is in the color 410. So I was kind of apprehensive, apprehensive, learn how to talk to me, apprehensive at first about purchasing it just because I didn't think that it was going to like be a good, I don't know, Fenty foundation like I was kind of weird about because I purchased um, one previously and it just made me look really ashy and like really dry looking because it is a matte, a matte filter foundation, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry y'all, matte filter foundation but I think I was wearing the wrong color. I had 410 and the guy matched me for 20, which we'll get into that in a second. But yes, this is a really good, I mean, like, it's bomb. Like, I, I think the consistency is really pretty. I'll put it on this hand so, so y'all can see how, like, creamy that is. And I'll be using this for under eye, like, covering up blemishes and stuff, as you can see, because I have absolutely no makeup on. And I did my brows off camera, so moving on to the foundation this is in 420 so this is what i have now and what i had before was 410 which i have her here now if you put them side by side you can't really tell much of a difference and to be quite honest i kind of low-key want to try them on so we can just see together because when Fenty's foundation like oxidizes the color kind of changes significantly so we're here why not try them on so again I could have been tripping but I honestly felt like 410 was just I was ashy as fuck like in my opinion there was no way of getting around it but we'll take a small pump mm, just to kind of test her out you know I don't like wasting foundation and she dries so quickly, so I need to really hurry the fuck up and kind of like blend this in a little bit. Okay. And I'm using a beauty blender. And yeah, let me just look into my mirror. I mean, like, I honestly feel like the color is good. It just gets so damn drying. And it could be too, because I wasn't using a moisturizing primer. To be honest, I think I was just using some cheap ass primer. Like, I don't even know what the fuck I was using, honestly. But, don't, it's neither here nor there. So, just kind of, and then also with the Fenty Foundation, um, it is like a light to medium coverage. So, it's not a full coverage, which I don't mind because I still like to, I like the skin look. Like, I don't really want a cakey beat. Not always, anyway. I mean, sometimes you call it calls for a cakey beat. But in this particular sense, and like on my everyday looks or just around when I go out sometimes, I don't know, look, you know, beat beat. I want to be beat, but not beat beat. So, okay, so that is 410. Now, as you can see, it's not awful. I just still feel like, I don't know. I did moisturize really good today too, so I might be tripping. Might could do like 410 in the winter and 420 in the summertime. I don't know. We'll see. Let me try to. I'm trying to zoom in, but I think y'all can kind of see. All right, so I did the other side in 420, but this is 410. So she's not. She's not bad, but I just kind of felt like she was missing something. But let's we'll see. So we're gonna compare. So let me shake her up too, because like I said, it's like a very liquidy foundation. And yeah, so we'll try 420. And I don't like wasting product, y'all. So don't judge me for wiping the applicator on my face. So, we are working 420. All right, y'all, well, excuse my son in the background. I thought he was barricaded, but apparently not. So, 420.
I don't know. The she looks a little more red. See if you compare the, the two. Okay, so this is 420. This is 410. Mm, not so bad, I guess. I mean, I feel like I can get away with both of them, honestly. Like, then again, too, I could always mix the colors together, but that's just a lot of work. And I'm looking for, like, the easiest possible route ever. But, I mean, beggars can't be choosers or however the saying goes. Aside from that, it's just, like, whatever. I pay for both of them, so I'm going to use them. And if I have to mix them, then I'll mix them. But 410 doesn't look bad today. Maybe I just had a really ashy-ass day. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, we're going to move on because I'm not going to obsess about it. But, again... Um, 410, 420. I got it at my local Sephora. I think I paid like 34, give or take. I don't know. I threw the boxes away and the receipts. But that's what we have. So I also purchased her new Stunna Lippies because why not? And um, this is the packaging that it came in. I actually left it in the box. I typically just rip it off and throw it away but for the sake of this video I kept them and this particular one is unlocked that's the box just like the by packaging for the highlighter so I can get this out to show you so this one is the pink color and this is unlocked I think this was really pretty. Like when I saw it on her Instagram, I just knew off top. I was like, I gotta have this. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And I can swatch this for you. So, this is unlocked. Like, look at that. Look at her. Like, isn't she everything and some? with that blue undertone like come through sis like Rihanna knew what she was I feel like Rihanna always knows what she's doing for us brown girls like come through with the colors okay so the next one is called untatched or unattached excuse me the same type of box same packaging this is like a corally color I tried this on off camera and I was like, sis, you're going to need a liner. Like, I literally looked like, I don't even know how to explain, but it looked like I was on drugs. Like, it was bad. So, this is a coral. It's really pretty, though. I'm just going to need a liner. Like, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to wear this with no liner. Like, it's just not, like, no. I, no, it's no way. So, let me swatch her. Like, my swatch game is terrible. But I promise y'all I'm gonna get better. This is my first video, so don't try to judge me. So, Coral. She's pretty. Like, don't get me wrong. She is really pretty. But she gonna need a liner because I can't do her by herself. Mm -mm. And then last but not least is Undefeated. And sis is purple, y'all. She's real pretty. Same box. Real crude real beaut yes again I'm sorry I'm sniffing my allergies are really screwing with me let me shake her up too okay so this is the purple real pretty color and then at first I was like eh, do I really need her because I mean I have like a lot of like okay I can't get her open a lot of like dark mob vampy purples but I don't have purple purple alright I don't know why the hell I can't open it there we go so, and I love the applicator brush too like it's just so easy but that is the purple and let me swatch her like look at that like this is a true re recolor like in my opinion like 
that dark and it's not too dark but it's not too bright at the same time so that was the collection so hope you guys enjoy it was really brief like i said before this is just my first video um you can find me on instagram at mother meek i'm on facebook tamika janae stevens look forward to more videos like subscribe share and give me some suggestions what you want to see things you want to talk about um i'm excited nervous at the same time to get myself out there but this is the first video i've been procrastinating for like forever and been telling my friends i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it so i mean don't judge this video because again it's new but thanks for stopping by have a good one